Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and we are playing through D-Day Dice, the demo set for the Kickstarter currently ongoing as of the recording of this video. This is the second time through. The first one I talked a little bit quickly about the rules. What we're gonna do in this one is just really jump right into it, see how far I can get. I only made it to here, I think last time before I died or ran out. And essentially what I found out about the rules was you are not allowed to go back to the same section or area you already, or location you already were in, but I could have moved sideways over to this location and then tried to keep going. So in other words, I could have gone from here, three rounds, then one round, then another round, and then had to be forced to go up here because you can't stick in these two locations for longer than a round. Uh, however, I was kind of running so low on resources. I, I doubt I would have gotten any further. I probably would have run into here and instantly died. So it's probably a good thing that we restart regardless. But I just thought I'd give you that uh, heads up that you can move sideways, but again, you just can't go back to the one you've been at previously or any prior uh, location. So let's get going. So I've got four guys here uh, as noted right here. So we're going to start off. I'll get a black dot. Actually, you know what? Let's grab... Um, you know what looks and fits this really well? I think... Dawn fits this great. So Dawn actually from Fireteam Zero is just as much of a soldier as you're gonna you could imagine in terms of his outfit. So this will be a perfect marker for our men. So we're gonna say we're right here on the beach right now, and uh, we're gonna start right from here. So we'll roll our dice, see what we get, and go from there. So here we go. There's my first roll, and wow, we got every three we could possibly imagine. So we got a full set right off the top here. But remember again, we can only lock in two dice. So I could keep these uh, threes. Will give me one soldier for each die, which is kind of useful, but not a ton. Uh, it would be nice though. Uh, maybe I will, I'll lock in two of them because that was a pretty good roll. Uh, the one thing I'm gonna do as well though, because we need to still be able to count rounds is I'll put a die beside our, our, our character as well so we can count the rounds he's there. Okay, we got two sixes and we get a three. No, we did not. So now we have, uh, this is okay. Let's keep them like this and I'm gonna go six is our tools This is another two soldiers and two is a star I'm actually gonna keep a star and Maybe this I think I'm gonna go like this actually I want the star and I want the extra men Let's hope that the white one here is a three Nope, it didn't work out that way, but at least it wasn't a one. Okay, so now let's cash in what we've got here So we have a two so the two is gonna give us a star so I'm gonna put one in the star position there. Uh, the four needs to be resolved now. The four is two soldiers, so we'll bump ourselves up to six. Uh, now we're gonna move uh, for the two threes, which are one soldier a piece. So we're gonna grab two more soldiers. Actually, I'll take smaller dice here, or a smaller die. So we got eight. And then we're gonna go with five and six. That's gonna be one courage. That's good, because we need some courage in order to advance on the beach. And then one, I believe the six is the tool. So we're gonna get our first tool as well. That's pretty good, not bad. Uh, not amazing, but as you can see from what we got, it's not terrible. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, ooh, we can't recruit or do anything item wise because we have too little of everything. So we're gonna decide not to move. We're gonna stay put. We'll tip this up to two and we're gonna take ourselves three hits of worth of men. Uh, for sticking around there. So we got pelted on the beach. All right, let's roll again and see if we can do a little better this time. Okay, I rolled. Did I roll anything useful? Not really. Um, wow, I got a little bit of everything though. I got two twos, which is good because twos are stars. So I'm going to hold those two aside and we'll continue on. I'm looking for more stars. Aha, look at that. We got our star combination. That's awesome. We also got two of these, I could re-roll re -roll the blue one to try to get um, another blue four, which would be awesome. Ah, so close. Okay, so that's not gonna work out. But what we'll do right now is we'll uh, go ahead and resolve everything. So we got three of those twos, which is gonna give us a leadership bonus. Roll a bonus die, re-rolling any skulls, and add it to your final tally. So here we go. A skull, but we get to re-roll skulls. We never get to sit on a skull. So we got a one man. What is a one man? That is a three. So it's not gonna do anything for us, but hey, it's an extra guy. So we got ourselves one, we might as well do all the people first. So this one is a is like we got a three pip die. So we got a one man, this is for two, this is for two. So it's five more men added to our squad, that's good. So these three dice are resolved. And then this two right here is a star. So we're gonna tick our stars up by one. And then of course, star, star, star. So that's gonna be five total stars now. That's amazing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our 
deck here and we're definitely gonna pick something up. Now we wanna pick something that makes sense. Uh, we know when we head up the beach here, we're gonna need one of these three required for sure. We're also gonna probably want some mine protection if we happen to go to the outside edges. So minesweeper is good for later. Uh, what would be good to resolve one of these? I kind of want to go up the middle a little bit. Could be risky. Um, let's see here. Corporal, Lieutenant, Sharpshooter, Scout. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I need... Which one is... Where is he? Oh, Hero. The Hero. Spend Courage or Stars to save soldiers. Okay, let's... Uh, is this, yeah, let's do that. Let's do the hero. We're gonna go right up the middle. Might be a little aggressive. But we're gonna go for it. So we're gonna take the the hero one. It's gonna cost us three. I'll put this whole deck back. Uh, so we'll take our stars down to two. And now at this point we can move if we want to, but we're not going to. We'll stay put for one more round. So I'll flip this, uh, denoting the fact we're only here for one more round. And we're taking a hit right now because we're sitting still. So we're getting hit for three. Not because we're sitting. We always get hit. So this will go down to two. Now we only have seven. I'll make this six and one. So just it's easier. All right. Let's see if we can get a little further. We need some more men. We're getting a little short on the men situation. But we are doing good for stars. Okay. Oh, I can't roll this one. Sorry. Okay, so we got one. We're definitely re-rolling two of those. Ugh. We didn't really get anything combination-wise that's going to help us. Uh, so maybe what we'll do is we will uh, take... Hmm, we got a star here, which we definitely want. So I'm going to lock in the star. Rerolling this. I'm going to keep the two men. And I think that's... I'll re-roll the rest. So we'll go like that. Uh, ugh, two, we're gonna have to definitely re-roll these from the final roll. We got a five, which is courage. We have enough courage already to advance, uh, so that's good to know, but it might be good to have a backup courage just in case. Uh, no, we gotta re-roll for men. Three gives us one soldier. That's also not very good. I'm gonna re-roll the whole thing. Okay, wow, okay, two sixes, two threes. That's not bad, so we got two soldiers. That's not bad, all right, let's resolve these. So we got ourselves a two, which is a star. So we're gonna go ahead and pop ourselves up to three. Um, we got two threes, which is gonna be two more soldiers, so we'll pop ourselves up to three. We got a four, which is two soldiers, so we're gonna pop ourselves up to five. And then we got two sixes, which is two tools, so we'll pop ourselves up to three. Okay, uh, and then at this point now we get to decide whether we want to purchase anything else. I'm probably going to go ahead and spend my stars to pick up the Minesweeper maybe? Do I need a Minesweeper? If I head up this way it might not be worth it. Let's see if there's something else that's more worth it if I'm going to go up the middle. Because my hero is going to allow me with this icon to go up the middle. So let's find something that can help me in here. Uh, this will give me tools, that's good. Sharpshooter. You can ignore that. Okay, no, no. Reroll one die in your final tally. That could be useful. Oh, uh, ooh, that's nice. Oh, I wish I had one more star to spend. Ooh, let's do the veteran. I gain a person every single time I get a combination of three. That's nice. Just kind of like an extra guy. All right, so that's good. So I just spent that three. So now we're going to go ahead and knock off... Um, another three from my tally. So I have no, no longer have any uh, stars remaining. Okay, so, and in terms of tools, we have three. We need five at the minimum to go ahead and start buying stuff from this deck, so we can't do anything there. We have to move now because we've run out. We've stayed here for three rounds, so which way do we want to go? Uh, at this point, I'm okay with tools. Let's go tools. We're going to go on this side. So we're going to head here. We can only be here for one round. So we're heading there, and we got to take that damage. So six, we lose six men. Ouch. Okay, so here we go, we got one round. We're gonna need lots of men to survive this. We only have five right now. Uh, two cock die, so I'm gonna reroll those. Uh, one and a four. Okay, so we got one, one. Now here's a question, what happens if I go for ones on purpose? Ones will give me what's called a dead man's gift, gain 17 item points and two stars, and ignore the negative effect of these skulls, they don't cancel any dice. Oh, 17 item points, that would be crazy. And two stars? Oh, it's so tempting. Um, let's do it. Let's risk it. I'm going to take these two. I'm going to lock them in. We are looking for one white one. Yes. Okay, we got it. That's awesome. We can continue on. Um, I have one more roll after this. So the six uh, and the five. What do I do here? Um, if I'm going to move it forward, 
I'm going to need, oh, and when I move forward, sorry, from this location to here, I didn't take away from my courage. So technically I have no courage right now. I need two to get going any further. So I definitely want to take one of the courage uh, for now. I'm gonna lock that in, or hold on to that, not lock it in. Uh, six for tools, don't really need it right now. The one we don't really need. So really we're hoping for another courage, another five. Okay, that one's cocked, reroll that. There we go, we got our five. Okay, so we got two courage. That's actually perfect roll. So we got three. Let's resolve this amazing. And don't forget, when we gain, uh, or when we go ahead and get that combination, we get an extra man. So I'm not gonna forget that. I'll do that right now. So up to six. Now we can go ahead and do resolve that. Dead man's gift gains 17 item points and two stars. So what I'm gonna do to make this easy is I'm gonna put two stars here. 17 plus three is 20. We're just gonna remember 20 because we're gonna go shopping here right away and pick up a really cool item. We also get on top of it uh, one, two, three. So technically we have three here left over. And we're going in with 23, I guess. So we may or may not end up using that. Uh, two fives are the next thing we have to resolve. So that's two courage. So we'll get two courage back. And then the last one is a six, which is a tool. So it's just going to... Um, Oh, sorry, did I do that wrong? Uh, three ones. Three ones are not for tools. Never mind. I'm crazy. Uh, but I did get a six, which is a tool, so it's just one remaining. So technically, there we go. Okay, so now we got 20 to spend. So we're going to go into this right here and try to find something really, really cool. So let's go all the way up and see if we can find something amazing. Reduce the defense of your sector. Not a bunker to zero. That is an automatic. That's what I want. I'm getting the Bangalore. Torpedo, that sounds incredible. So this is gonna basically, as long as it's not a bunker, it's gonna reduce every single sector hit to zero, which is gonna help us get up the battlefield quicker. That's an incredible card, okay. All right, so we did that. And uh, we already took this. Now we have to go ahead and move. So the next thing we're gonna probably end up doing is we're gonna be wanting to move from here and probably move into one of these three locations, but right now we can only move into these two because they're only connected. So the next thing we're gonna to have to do is figure out which of the two is the best to go for. And I don't have a minesweeper, so this would be a bad decision. So I'm gonna probably head down the middle. And if I do that, it's not that bad. I have that requirement of having a hero, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna jump into this location. We're here for our first time. There is a sniper in the area. We have to roll D6 and take that many hits from enemies. Uh, but at least our uh, amazing torpedo is gonna reduce this to zero. We still just have to take the sniper hit. Uh, but anyway, we've moved in. So now we gotta take our damage. Uh, now when I moved in, it cost two courage. So my courage is now depleted. When I move inside of this location, I also have to now do combat. This is reduced to zero, thanks to, like I just said, this one here is now reduced. But I have to roll D6 to see how much damage comes from their sniper. So their sniper is coming from the bunker in this uh, location, and it's a six. That could, could not have gone worse. Um, so I do have the ability to spend courage or stars to save soldiers. Uh, so right now I could spend two of these to save two soldiers, which I'm gonna do. And then because I only have six soldiers with me, I'm gonna be taking down to two, which is really bad. So I really need to start bolstering my soldiers because I'm not gonna make it much further if I don't. So here we go, we're down to, and then also this little emblem right here means that whenever I'm gathering uh, at the end of my turn after my uh, tally's done and stuff like that in the upkeep phase, I gain, I gain a courage, which is gonna help me get to the next one. The next one we're gonna need is we need to have a minesweeper and we, or we need to have this one here before we can move in. So let's just take a look to see what's required from that. Uh, the minesweeper is three stars and the, the one with the binoculars, do I already have that? Where is my, oh, he's right here, it's two stars. So we need one of these two before we can get into the next one. So I need at least two stars and get a scout to get in there. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's see how this works. Uh, okay, all right, so we got, oh my goodness, we got triple ones again. That's crazy. Uh, you know what's perfect about that, guys? I'm, I, I, it's, it's kind of sad because I can only lock in two. So it's exciting. I'm gonna bank that, I'm gonna get it off of this. I'm gonna lock these two in. Roll this, come on, one, yes, okay, so I got it. I'm locked in white, blue, red, perfect. Uh, this is good, because it gives me two men, which I'm gonna need. Um, the five would give me courage. Do I need any more courage? Mm, 
I do need three courage to move on, but I can stay here for a bit. I, I need men more than anything else. I'm gonna reroll both of these and hope for more men. Ugh, not exactly. I got courage and tool. Okay, so let's resolve this. One, two, three. So that is the dead man's gift. I get two stars, awesome. And I also get 17 item points on top of the one item point, so I'm gonna have 18. So let's go six, 12, 18, uh, and I'll knock out the one. So we have 18 item points to use, which is crazy. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's it, yep. Uh, we ignore the negative effects of the ones when they're in a combination like that because not only is it insanely risky to do and get those, but uh, we went for it anyway. The four is going to give us two more guys. We don't have that many men, which is dangerous. Uh, I did get a combination, so my veteran is going to give me an extra guy. So we're going to bump up to five. Um, that's that one resolved. We got a five, which is going to give us one more courage. So we're going to come over here and add a courage. And then we have a six, and the six is gonna give us a tool. So we have six, 12, and then 18, we have 19. Okay, so now at this point, uh, we are done. Oh, and don't forget, we get a extra courage for being in that particular location, so we're up to two there. We just need one more courage to get out, but we can sit here for three rounds because it's a white on the inside. So I'm probably gonna do that because I'm also gonna need men. The worst part about this right now is I wanna go buy something. So let's take a look and see if we can find something to purchase. That'll work out. I've got uh, 19 points to spend. A flamethrower. Subtract 10. D Ooh, if you're going after the bunker, that's handy. Uh, gain eight people and another unit must lose three. Ooh, special dispatch. That could be good. I need people. That might be the best one. Ignore landmines for one turn. That's nice, but I'm probably going to go get the minesweeper soon, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um... Oof, this is gonna get this is gonna get sketchy. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna buy both of I can only buy one per turn, so I'm gonna buy a special dispatch. It's gonna be ten, so I'm gonna six. We'll take this one away. It's gonna oh, bump this up to three. So I only have nine remaining. I gain eight men, and the the other unit must lose three. Well, that's if you're playing cooperatively, it doesn't really matter. So eight is gonna give me a six here plus two, so that's quite a bit up there in terms of the men, so that's good. We're doing a little, we're doing good now, I think. Um, all right, and then next up, we gotta decide whether we move. I'm not going to move, I'm gonna sit tight. We want to bolster, we really wanna pick up both of these, the scout and the minesweeper is my plan. I'd like to be able to go into here. This symbol means that I have to kill the scout when I get in here, but I have to have it first. And then I want the minesweeper so that I also can handle all the mines that are in here, because I don't have to roll for any kind of damage from that either. Okay, so that's that. Um, now we're going to go ahead and um, roll to... I'm staying here, I guess, so I'm going to flip this up to two. And we take combat. Again, one of my wonderful torpedo reduces it to zero, but I still have to roll for the sniper. So the sniper's taking a shot, and two. I can handle two. That's not bad. I'll just knock two guys off. They were sniped away, and we go to the next round. Okay, so what do we got here? We got more ones again. I'm going down that one route again. I might as well keep doing that because it seems to be working out. Uh, and I'll reroll these looking for that one. No, but I got fours, three fours right off the bat. So I'll keep all of these. Reroll this looking for the one. Ugh, that's too bad. So we got a lot of men though, so that's good. Um, these end up, oh no. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, because if you don't actually end up getting something, if I didn't get that one, the risk is that they actually delete, they'll delete uh, some of these dice, or not delete, but remove. So really, this actually hurt me a lot, because essentially I'm doing something like this. Like, it's removing all of these dice. I only get these two, which is just going to be a bonus of um, two. Oh, that hurts so much. So it's going to be four soldiers extra, so I'll bump this to six, and then I'll grab three. So that's really not that great of a turn. That was really a, a big waste. Um, and then we're gonna go to uh, upkeep, which I just did. I do gain a courage, so that's gonna give me three, which is enough to move out of here now, because it costs three to get to this next space next turn. Uh, I didn't get any stars, which really hurts because I need them badly. Um, that's not good. So what are we gonna do? Well, we do have some of this to use. I have nine. Is there anything in here that could help me? Um, Mind detector whistle advance without spending courage. You still need to follow all sector. Okay, that's not that great. Walkie talkies people. 
Prevent MGF in your sector or bunker for one turn. It must be played before, okay. Field radio gives you more people. Don't have enough. Binoculars don't have enough. Don't have enough. Okay, so which one makes the most sense? The advance without spending courage sounds like a good idea. I'm going to get the whistle because I think at some point being able to advance quickly is going to gonna matter. Uh, it's tough. Mm, the walkie-talkie is also handy, but it's only two guys. It seems kind of like a waste. Uh, the mine... Hmm. Yeah, oh, this is tough. I'm gonna take the whistle. Gonna take the whistle. Hopefully that works out. So it's gonna leave me with two. And there we go. So that's paid up. Okay, and then we're going to move to the movement section where, and I do get a, already did this. I already got my extra one, so it's good. I'm gonna tick this up to three because I'm planning on staying there one more turn. Uh, and then we take an attack, which is going to be rolled by the sniper. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Okay, and then I can remove stars or courage in order to uh, not lose men. But you know what? I, I'm oh, it hurts so much. I'm going to take the hit. Oh, that hurts. Okay, let's continue on. Hope for better things. We're still looking for stars. I need lots of stars. So what I really need is twos. Give me twos. Ugh, none of these things are twos. Okay, so that's no help to me. Two fives would give me courage. That's useless. I don't really want that right now. This gives me men, so that's good, but I don't need both of them. So I'll go like this. I'll keep one of those for men, and I'll keep... Uh, I don't have any stars in here whatsoever. I will take... Uh, um, let's lock in... Let's lock in a... Uh, okay, got a lot of got a couple fives. That's good. I could I could keep those. Threes, not so much. Oh, fives are just for courage. Oh, this is a that's a terrible roll. I'm gonna re-roll all of these and hope for something. Come on. Oh, that hurt. Okay, that didn't work out good. Um, so basically I have to delete one of these essentially with this die, so that's gonna remove this one. So essentially what we get is one guy, two guy, three, four. So we, we gain four people. So we're going to go up to six and then one. And then um, I have a tool that I'm going to get. So this tool is going to jump me up to three. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, so I've got, and this was deleted completely, so I don't even get it. So that's no good. And that essentially is the end of that. That did not turn out well. Uh, so now what we're going to do is, uh, can I buy anything? No, I can't even get the minesweep or the scout over here. So I don't have enough for it. That really, oh, I can get the scout. I'm going to spend two to get the scout. Okay, and we now have add a tool to your final tally. But of course, I've already done my final tally, so I don't get it right now. Oh, I forgot to take my metal. So I get my courage. Should have gone up to four. And at this point... Now I'm choosing to move because I have to. So I'm gonna move into this location. Um, this is where it gets a little bit dicey because I'm gonna take mine damage, but I'm moving in regardless. So I'm moving in and I've got to kill off my scout that I literally just purchased. So this is gonna go in the garbage. It's been destroyed and I'm in here. And what we're gonna do in the next video is I'm gonna pick it up right from there. I did my movement. We're gonna to have to go into combat now in this location. And as you can see, I can be here for three turns. I have to deal with mines. I have to deal with a bunch of other things as well, snipers, all that good stuff. Uh, so I'll tell you what happens once we get into this location right here in the next video. So I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. I'm getting closer to the bunker. I hope this works out, but uh, I don't know. It's looking dicey. <laughs> get it? Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching and keep on rolling solo.